<clears throat> All right, I'm fixing to go up and make my first run. We'll see what happens. Well, I didn't really want to bore anybody with the tearing it down part of it. 
but I'm gonna say that cylinder went a little lean, got a little bit of pressure in it. Blew the gasket out and uh, it torched the piston and messed the cylinder wall up real bad. Um, I could probably have that honed off because it's raised, not low, but I have another block laying over there, so I'm not really, really that worried about it. Um, but yeah, it, uh, it messed it up pretty good. Uh, the head looks okay. Um, I'm gonna pull the injectors out and take them over to a buddy's house that has a uh, flow machine <clears throat> and flow them. But uh, all the other pistons look good. You can see where a little bit of trash went into a couple of them. It's funny because it hit all of them <laughs> pretty much the same spot. I don't know if you can see that one down in there. And then there's one over here where it hit close to the same spot. They're not in the exact same spot, but it's close. But I mean, the, the pistons look okay except for that one cylinder. Everything else looks great. Um, none of the rods show any signs of being bent. We spun the motor over and the pistons come all the way up to the surface on all of them, um, including this one. So it just, it went lean and when it went lean, it built a bunch of cylinder pressure and blew. So it sucks, but I mean, you can see my tune was obviously pretty close. The, the pistons look great. So it is what it is. I'll get the injectors cleaned and clean my fuel filter out and try to figure out what happened. I'm kind of surprised that the uh, the gasket didn't completely let go before the piston melted because these are just cheap Felpros. But uh, yeah, there's, there's what happened. Like I said, the bottom of the cylinder looks okay. Um, or the head, it pushed out a little bit there. There's a little bit of junk on it and some scratches and stuff, but the valves look okay. There's no contact in the valves. All the valves look like they're closed all the way and there's no marks on them. So I think they're okay. I just need to take a uh, little bit of light sandpaper and sand all these rough spots down just so there's no uh, thin areas for it to hold heat and uh, clean it up and go from there. I'll probably end up lapping the exhaust valve because I'm sure there's a bunch of material between the valve and the seat. But other than that, they look okay. So I'm actually pretty happy about it. Um, got the car in the trailer. All I did was bring the guy, put the gate feet on blocks, and we rolled it out, picked it, picked the motor up out of it, and rolled the car back up in here and uh, rolled the motor back up in here. But it could be worse. Stay tuned, and uh, we'll get this bad boy back together. Uh, like I said, I got another block laying over there, so it's not the end of the world. I just got some cleanup to do on that one cylinder and uh, go from there. I have other pistons, I have. I've had everything I need, I think, to get this thing going without having to spend a bunch of money, so stay tuned.